afternoon YouTube and I dr at the moment dry Sunday afternoon I'm just off now for a quick couple of hours ride and I've set up a Calimoto route at the moment I'm ignoring it because of the route is going to take me I know where it was going to take me so so I can hear it a bit better this time I had problems again with me Hero 10 tested it this morning before I went to come out through the remote everything was hunky dory gone the leave now and the 10 wouldn't power up again so I've had to take it out the medium hard, take the battery out and reset it to get it to work but at least the remote this time once I got the 10 working has connected to both cameras and today I've double checked me 8 is on video and not still like last time I went out bit of a cock up on my part but there we go I put a route in at the moment which I'm gonna do but I might change it depending on the situation when I get out there because the route has taken me out Axbridge Cheddar way I might nip down into Cheddar Reservoir because there's an entrance to the car park there near Axbridge I'm going to have to wait and see when I get there because I have looked a couple of times a quick glance and it looks rather gravelly for the entrance to the car park if it looks too gravelly for the bike I won't be doing that today but if I do go down there and the weather conditions are right for it and not too many people about I might try and get the drone up just hope it stays dry there is the odd shower about and it looks like there might be one on its way now so I'll just have to keep an eye on that thing is I'm out I've been looking at the possibility of maybe even changing my bike maybe getting a GS I've always wanted one couldn't afford it before I was gonna have a look at one at the end of this month but I've decided to put it on hold for a couple of months or so because there's other things I need to prioritize before the bike I know people might say why well, do you want a GS everybody gets them they're nice bikes yeah me RT is a nice bike I love it but the GS might be better for me camping trips the luggage on it is a little bit better I might, should be able to get me tent and a chair tied to the luggage because it's flat the RT's luggage isn't I can still do it but it's not ideal if I'm in a position to get one before the Elan tour in May I should do it but if not it, it's not the end of the world I think my ear plugs have come loose again slightly and I haven't done my waistcoat up again keep on doing that because I'm not used to coming out with it on so first chance I get I'll pull over and do that up and let's go and do this Kalimoto route I think I've got a rough idea where it's going to be taking me but it might not be exact obviously because it does take you on some minor roads at times At the moment it's taking me on a route I've done loads of times but it doesn't matter it was all about getting out for a ride at the moment it's on route so I've done lots of times doesn't matter it's all about the ride I'm gonna have to have another look at my lid at the visor might have to take it and redo it my pin lock steaming up 
and it's not even wet, it's steaming up through breath. Do that when I get home. I'll take it out and have a look at it, try and reseat it. In the meantime, let's enjoy the ride. And a reply to your last video Western Super Vlogs. Yes, I do ride all winter. Providing the weather is conducive with me being able to get out. Bit of cold, don't worry me. It's if it's wet or windy. I'm not, probably wouldn't do it. Especially wet. Cold and dry, I could put up with that. I know it was all in jest the way you were saying it, but sorry mate. I ride all year round if it's possible. And at the moment the way this winter is going it isn't going to be too much of a problem, period. Oh, I'm in the 30, crack me lid. Try and clear it a little bit. Get it to kick so I can see properly. Get the wind noise to a minimum, hopefully. Nice and old. Whether I'm going to be able to take advantage of it, I don't know yet. At the moment, no. A lot of water and crud on the road on this bit. Sky's looking a little bit ominous up ahead. Don't think there's going to be a lot of rain if it does drop anything. There is a few spots on me visor. Don't think there's going to be a lot, but it's there. Give you a wipe. Wherever Callie's going to take me, I'll be taking it. Nice little bimble round Somerset, northeast Somerset area, on the outskirts of the Mendips. And this is going to be turning off just before we get to the junction for Wales. Well, it is two miles, it's turning me off at just under a mile. Nationals! Now I can go, it was clear to go. Had to be done as soon as I could. Oh, it is taking me on the junction to Wells. Thought it might do actually because it would that was on the original route. It's just what routes it's gonna take me from here. In City Wells. Been here quite a few times recently. I think it's taken me on the towards the A39 at the moment. So I think I know roughly what route it's gonna be taking me now, so and it's a bit different to what it was showing on the route when I looked at it. It's taken me a completely different way to get here. The original route was going to take me through Axbridge, which is what I wanted. It did have Street and Somerton on the route, so I think that's what it's going to do. It's going to take me back through Glastonbury now, out through Street and Somerton. It's taken me towards the cathedral at the moment. This is the route you go to get to the cathedral. I'm not going to complain about that and that then whatever route is going to take me. I am doing a road now I don't think I've done in Wales. Go up there for the park up by the cathedral. Come out this way once before and turn round because I missed the turn in like a numpty. Right, let's see where it's going to take me now. I'm on a road I don't think I've done before. I'm not 100% certain. 
Let's enjoy it. Bit of crud on the road, so I'm gonna have to watch it. I ain't got a clue where I am now, which is how I like it. That's the idea of Cali. Do roads I've never done. Turning left in half a mile. But it doesn't look like I'm going to end up round by Axbridge and Cheddar Reservoir, which is what my original plan was going to be. Because I was going to call in there if the route took me close to it. But at the moment, it hasn't. It's taken me on the free someone for Shepton Mallet now. So I don't know where it's taken me, but. Oh, well, it was giving me a mixture of roads. I think this is the turning that takes you into Shepton Mallet. Where is it taking me? Mm, don't like the look of this. Well, it's not for very long. Brings us back on another road. But that's what Kalimoto does. But it's taken me down one of these roads now with a lot of crud on it. So I'm going to have to go careful on this now. This is where a GS would have been nice. I won't be going too fast down here. Kalimoto strikes again. And my bike's going to need another wash after all this. I'm constantly washing it at the moment. Well, this is what I come out for. Doesn't look as if this road's going to be that busy. But it's a bit cleaner out here now, so... Might mean it gets used a bit more. Thank you. A lot of water down here, off the fields, isn't it? Right, you can tell when roads get used a bit more and there's not so much crud on it. Keep it in low gear. While I'm going downhill. You never know what's going to be on any of these corners, that's the trouble. I'm starting the steam up again now, because I'm not getting any speed. Well, you've done it again, Callie. Some different roads, not brilliant, but they're usable. They're not exactly a dirt track. Then you get bits like this, but I think that's water off the fields has done that. under another mile on this road and then I'll have to s see what sort of road it's going to take me down 
West Pennard. not very good when it's giving me directions and it doesn't give you a road number that means it's probably an unclassified road like this one ah this is coming into a village now though so it should be slightly better and it's coming up to a give way sign Straight on here, hello. I would have turned left there if Anna gave me them instructions. This road's a little bit better. It's normally a good sign when you've got road markings. At least now I'm getting what I wanted off of Cali. Roads I've never done before. Even if they're not that good. Bike's gonna need another wash, another wash, another wash. Cruddy roads, cruddy roads. A little bit better now. Flood! I would have known it if I hit that at speed. I would have got wet, very wet. I'm wondering if I put the right route in here. You are, I'm wondering if I put another one in not the one I wanted originally depends where this brings me out now so I could get me bearings ah, coming down on a main road 